Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial and in this video I will quickly show you how you can install WordPress on a subdomain with SiteGround hosting. So SiteGround do not use your traditional cPanel so installing uh, WordPress on subdomain with their hosting panel is a bit different so I will quickly show you how to do it. First log into your SiteGround dashboard and it is very simple to do, do so just go to mysiteground.com and use your email and password to log in and then go to this websites tab and here you will see a list of websites that are connected to your SiteGround hosting so select the website for which you want to create subdomain for example I will select this website then click on site tools and this will take you to the tool SiteGround dashboard and from here on the left sidebar go to domain and then from here go to subdomains and here create your test subdomain for example I will create test CDN and just enter test CDN and do not enter the full uh, full domain layer and uh, after test CDN dot, dot your domain dot com will automatically get added so then click on create and you will see the success message screen so and then you will see it two options click on back or install application so we have to install WordPress so click on install application and from here select the application you want to install from this are the some of the pre-install ap applications that so let's select WordPress here and then make sure the subdomain is correct test cdn and uh, this is the installation path if you want to install it in a folder you can enter your folder like um, this folder and I do not really uh, okay I will just do it and if you want to install WordPress in true directory you can leave this field blank like this and then uh, here enter your username for example I will enter wp and then you can use a password generate this will be the username password that you will use to log into your WordPress admin dashboard so make sure you after generating password you copy it and keep it in a safe place then enter the enter your email ID example here I will enter my email ID best WP guides plus test at the rate gmail.com and if you have any trouble or if you have any question feedback need help you can directly email me also at this email id bestwpguides at gmail.com so after entering this details click on install and okay so it is showing some metal failed to install site let's try again okay it's showing some error so if you get the situation what you can do is um, and you are unable to resolve it yourself um, try to contact you can contact the support directly and they will do the installation for you so what I will do is let's I will try it again and I will just repeat the same process go to website then site tools and um, in this case I've already created the subdomain here you can see the subdomain is already there there it's test CDN uh, this is the subdomain I created so now let's go to WordPress then install and manage and then select the application I want to install select the subdomain test CDN and then here enter the username um, sorry Best developing guides at the rate gmail.com. Enter my email here and enter my test test um, test one two three. Generate password, copy it, and then click on install. Hopefully, the installation process will be successful this time, and I will not get any error. And looks like the installation should be should go properly this time okay luckily the WordPress installation worked this time and sometime you may get error you know you can just do this go back and restart and usually it works so um, if if nothing works just contact SiteGround support their support is great and that's why I recommend the hosting it's just okay 
so i hope you found this tutorial helpful and then you can just click on use site or admin panel and but i have to warn you that when you do this um, you may get some error that like something like this because the dns uh, cannot find the subdomain ip so it may take some hours to update so um, i just wanted to let you know that you may face this error and uh, there's no issue with it it's just that the dns uh, name server ip propagation takes some time and um, you have to just wait for it or if you still get any error just contact siteground hosting and they should be able to help you uh, and if you want me to help you or uh, if you want uh, if you have any doubt questions suggestion feedback anything you know just post in the comments or directly email me so um, i hope you found this tutorial helpful and i will see you in the next video